Hello and welcome to free contact instrument of the week. It's free only if you have contact, um, which I highly recommend, but we're not going to rant about contact today. This one is from Piano Book, actually. It's by a guy called Eamon. I think that's how you pronounce his name, Eamon. I don't know, I butcher names a lot, um, but I'm going to butcher another name right now. But he's created uh, a sample library from the instrument Pippa. Uh, it's a Chinese pluck string instrument and what I love about this is he's actually extended the range. It looks like he's uh, pitched it down, which when you're sampling, always pitch down, never pitch up. Pitching up, or you can slightly, but it's very synthetic. Pitching down, you always get a better result. I actually like doing it with bells. I like uh, pitching it down because you get this really nice ominous sort of effect and it elongates the sound. So little tip there. Um, but this, yeah, fun little Chinese instrument, sometimes called a Chinese lute. Uh, he's actually got two patches with this. One is the actual bread and butter one, which we'll see in a moment, and then there's a pepper cushion one, as he calls it, so we'll have a little play with that. And regards to round robins and dynamic layers, there's three dynamic layers, no round robins as far as I'm aware, but within those dynamic layers, there are a total of nine samples uh, per layer spread out. So nice little range there plenty to go off and let's actually just move into contact and start playing with this as always the links are down in the description you will need contact 5.8 or plus for this sadly it will not work on contact player anyway stop ranting this is contact this is how it looks i don't know about you but that looks like a bowl of mashed potato um probably not the best mashed potato you've ever had but first impressions <laughs> Anyway, I should knock the UI. It looks really cool. Let's just step right in and have a little play. I love that release volume. Oh, sorry, release trigger, I should say. Is there a release trigger? Is that just the on? Oh, there is. Doesn't seem to work with individual notes, but a chord. I don't know. It seems a little narrow in its um, EQ. I don't know what he recorded it with. And it doesn't seem to be uh, a stereo field. But you can get a free one off of Isotope. Uh, it's like Ozone Imager 2 or something like that. So type Isotope Ozone Imager 2 into Google and you can pick up a free stero um, sterilizer, I was going to say. No, a uh, stereoizer. <laughs> Let's add some reverb. We've got a reverb knob here. Um, there's already a bit on it, actually. What's the raw sound? Uh, release of volume. I'm going to turn that up a bit. Cutoff knob, which everything has. I don't know why. Attack to case sustain release. Always nice to see it there. Very bog standard knobs. Love it because that's exactly what you need with a bread and butter patch. Does this do anything? I don't know, but we seem to have a trigger down here. What does this do? I think it's supposed to trigger. There's the tremolo. Wow. I think the other one is supposed to trigger the plucked, because I think there's three articulations. There's the plucked, there's the, um, the one we're actually just listening to, the standard one, and then there's the tremolo. But I'm hearing both the plucked uh, and the other one. Hmm. Might be slightly broken. 
Still sounds cool. Um, let's move into the percussion and see what happens here. Percussion and chords, reverb cut off, and the beautiful attack sustain decay release. A little bit of reverb. Wonder what's going to happen here. <laughs> That's actually really cool. See what I mean when you pitch something down? This is the top one. But the bottom one sounds dramatic. Um, and then of course you got actually a nice little percussive patch. It reminds me of a lot of the little orchestral tools, what they sound pack things they do. And you got some round robins. I think those are dynamic layers. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. That's fun. I think this is slightly broken um, with the other bit, but overall, this is a really nice rounded little bread and butter patch. Um, an instrument, Pippa. There you have it. If this is what you're looking for, enjoy. Um, I rate it. But as I said, it might need some little tweaks, but that's easy to do. And hopefully they get fixed if I am right, because I feel like there's supposed to be three articulations and it's slightly broken. Or it could just be me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.